Hello, this is Flipped Harbor for Physics. In this video, we'll go over practice problems on page 65, numbers 18 through 21. In number 18, we have a golf ball that's rolling towards a miniature golf hole up a hill. It says that assume the, that the direction towards the hole is positive. If the golf ball starts with a speed of 2.0 meters per second and slows at a constant rate of 0.50 meters per second squared, what is its velocity after two seconds? Then it asks, what is the golf ball's velocity if the constant acceleration continues for six seconds? And finally, part C, describe the motion of the golf ball in words and with a motion diagram. So, I always like to label each number with its appropriate variable for when we use it in an equation. Whatever we're looking for, whatever our unknown is, I like to label with a question mark. So we're looking for V final. We know that V initial is 2. The acceleration we make a negative because it's slowing down. The acceleration is pointing in the opposite direction of the hole. And our time is 2 seconds. So our equation is going to be V final equals V initial plus AT. When we plug in our 2 meters per second plus negative 0.50 times 2 seconds, we find out that our final velocity is 1 meter per second. Not too bad. Let's take a look at number B. Excuse me, letter B. It says what is, the, what is the golf ball's velocity if the constant acceleration continues for 6 seconds? Now I want to note, not 6 more seconds. We're not adding to the 2 seconds from the previous part. Just 6 seconds is going to be our time. So again, we label our variables. We make sure that we label our unknown. Again, the acceleration is a negative 0.50 meters per second squared. We're going to plug into the exact same equation. The only thing that's really changing is that time is now 6 seconds. And what we find for V final is now it's a negative 1 meter per second. What that means is, is that the ball has actually stopped and has started to roll back down the hill. So, for part C, describe the motion of the golf ball in words and with the motion diagram, we need to basically say that. The golf ball will roll up the hill towards the, well it's supposed to be towards the hole slowing down. It's going to stop for an instant and then begin to roll down the hill speeding up. My motion diagram, you see the ball in even time increments. The spacing is getting closer and closer as it goes up the hill. It stops just for an instant and then it starts rolling back down. Now the funny thing is, and we'll talk about this later, the distance that it rolls in the first second is the distance that it rolled in that last second before it stopped. So these spacings are actually correct for the ball going up the hill as well as going down the hill. I've labeled little tiny vector, uh, excuse me, little tiny velocity vectors in the picture so that you see that the ball goes up and down. And I want to point out that those velocity vectors are in the correct color, red, so you know they're velocity vectors. All right, number 19. A bus is traveling at 30 kilometers per hour, speeds up at a constant rate of 3.5 meters per second squared. What is the velocity? What is the, well, basically it's asking what's the velocity after 6.8 seconds. Obviously I didn't type that real well, but you get the idea. So our VI is 30 kilometers per hour. We're looking for our VF again. Because it's speeding up, now we'll use a positive 3.5 meters per second squared for the acceleration, and we'll use the 6.8 seconds for time. Now we've got a little bit of a problem with the initial velocity. The units are kind of out of whack with everything else. So I'm going to change the kilometers into meters, and I'm also going to change the hours into seconds. So in order to change it from kilometers to meters, I multiply by 1,000. In order to change the hours into seconds, I divide by 3,600 seconds. What we find out is that the initial velocity is 8.33 meters per second. Now that's the number we're going to use, not the 30. So. Our equation again, V final equals V initial plus AT. Plug in my V initial, plug in my acceleration, plug in my time. 
and we get a final velocity of 32.13 meters per second. Now, I'm not actually going to leave my answer like that because there's a standard practice in science that we have to observe sig figs. If I look back at the numbers given to me, the 30.0 kilometers per hour has three sig figs. The acceleration has two significant figures, the three and the five. The time also has two significant figures. So my answer, I'm only going to leave two significant figures. So I round it down to 32 meters per second. Now, they didn't tell me what way to leave my answer. Should I leave it in meters per second? Should I change it to kilometers per hour? Honestly, if they don't tell you, leave it like it is. Don't do any extra work. Number 20 says if a car accelerates from rest at a constant 5.5 meters per second squared, how long will it take for the car to reach a velocity of 28 meters per second? Well, before we start doing the math, I just want to point out something. R-E-S-T spells zero for us. Whenever you see certain words like rest or stop, they're telling us that some velocity is zero. Since the car accelerates from rest, our initial velocity is zero meters per second. Our acceleration is the 5.5 meters per second squared. We're looking for the time, so I label that with my question mark. And I know that the final velocity is 28 meters per second. Now, my equation is solved for VF. So I need to do a little bit of algebra to solve for time. The way I do that is I subtract the VI over and then I divide by my acceleration. So now I plug in, my final velocity is 28, my initial velocity is 0, and my acceleration is 5.5. So I get 5.1 seconds. Again, I only kept two significant digits because of the 5.5 and the 28. When they use words like rest or stop, it doesn't figure into the whole sig fig stuff. Number 21 says that a car slows from 22 meters per second to 3 meters per second at a constant rate of 2.1 meters per second squared. How many seconds are required before the car is traveling at 3.0 meters per second? So again, we're trying to solve for time. So I label everything. VI is 22. Acceleration is negative 2.1. My time is what I'm looking for, and my v-final is 3. Everything gets plugged in, and I end up with 12 seconds. Now, again, I set my acceleration to be a negative because it's slowing down. That acceleration is pointing in the opposite direction. If you forget to do that, what you're going to end up with is a negative time. You'll end up with a negative 12 seconds. Now, really, some common sense should tell you time can't be negative. So go ahead, if you do it, eh, just drop the negative and box in your answer. No harm, no foul. So that's it. I hope these example problems help. It's time to start working on your own stuff. I'll see you in class and I'll see you online.